first of all, you, you manage the way that you have seen management done, mm-hmm. right? You, you look at it. I know people who have bought companies from people and they're running those companies just like the previous owner did, because that's, that's the model that they had, or they used yeah. to work in the family business. That was the model they had. So they keep doing it and stuff. Um, and having to come to a point where you lay off, reduce mm-hmm. your, your head count is difficult for anybody in any situation. Um, yeah. what, what was it that made you turn inward and, and, and figure Got it. you know, that it's, that it was you. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is where I have to talk about the Cougars. So okay. you're going to have to bear with me. So, you know, two weeks after the layoffs, I happened to receive tickets to go watch the university of Houston football game, um, in late 2015, this is November, 2015. And, uh, that football game was highly anticipated because Cougars were on a nine and oh season thus far. And this was their 10th game and a potential 10th victory against a formidable, you know, Memphis, uh, Tigers, uh, top 25 ranked team. And <clears throat> I was excited to go to the game because I wanted something of a distraction from everything that I had been going through because I was really down and I was looking forward to the game. And as I went to the game with my brother to watch, uh, going to the fourth quarter, uh, we were losing by 20 points and we were playing with a third string quarterback. Mm-hmm. And I was, again, ex- incredibly disappointed because the likelihood of us winning that night was 0.1%. Uh, as per ESPN game tracker. <laughs> and so, you know, in that moment I decided, you know what, I'm just going to leave early. I don't want to stay through another disappointing night, but something inside of me told me, no, stay back, <clears throat> be there to watch your team and stay till the end. And I glad I did because we ended up winning that night by a point with less than 30 seconds left on the clock. And that ended up, that became our 10th victory of the season. And, uh, the team was being led at that point in time with a rookie head coach, Tom Herman. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was really inspired by that win. And I started to see softly through the eyes of the Houston Cougar football team. And I started to envision our own fourth quarter financial comeback, uh, just like the Houston Cougars had. So I decided to log on to the press conference that Tom Herman had. And in that press conference, it's what he said turn that switch on for me. One of the reporters asked, Hey, you talk a lot about love in your sports team. And what is it all about? And how does that have to do anything with you guys winning? And he was like, basically, he was like, it has everything to do with us winning. And he began to explain where he said they have a culture of love and support in their football team, which is genuine. And it isn't the love you bro kind of love. It's the genuine, you have my heart in your hand kind of love. And when you have that kind of love for one another, you are on that field, not fighting for yourself, but fighting for your brothers around you. And that love is what builds a championship teams. You don't have to have talented players to go in championships. You need to have love for one another to go in championship teams. And he basically went on to say how he's seen teams with super talented players and cannot be championship teams, but a team like Houston Cougars, where they barely get two star, three star recruits, they are a championship level team because of the culture of love. Mm 